Well, hello there guys and gals, and welcome back to The Pedestrian. No, this is not a DLC or title update or anything like that, but a debug menu has been found where we can unlock all achievements and trophies in literally about five minutes. Now, if you've probably been aware, i done a full achievement walkthrough on this game last year, and it was very fun with mildly, a little bit mildly frustrating. So just to piss us all off, <laughs> we have found a developer's debug menu which can get it done in five minutes. Now, this was originally found by Leo V over on PSN Profiles, so a big shout out to them. And also for Irihuto R48 for putting up in the True Achievements forum as well. So again, a big thank you and shout out to those two. Now, The Pedestrian is still on Xbox Game Pass as well, so if you haven't played it yet, apparently now is the exact time to do it. So, how to get the debug menu code up? You're going to click in the left stick and the right stick and press the right bumper at the same time or L3, R3 and R1 on PlayStation. We're only going to be messing about with three buttons. Now the third, on the very left hand side, the third row down where it says lobby, um, you can press the A button to change it, but we'll leave it on there. And the one underneath that, we need warehouse trans four. So warehouse trans four, press the A button to change it and then click on reload game. So that's, they're the only three buttons that we're going to need to push. Now, every time we do that, We'll just jump straight into a level and the achievement will unlock. And that is what we're going to be doing for literally five minutes. So again, uh, I'm just waiting for the achievement to uh, finish here. But now we're going to go again. We're going to uh, go to Subway. So third one down, uh, press the A button until it says Subway. And then just underneath that, you're going to click in Subway underscore trans three. So it'll be this, but of course for you, it's going to be extremely, extremely tiny. So you're going to have to get your readers on and then click reload game. Yes, so you are going to have to, um, you're going to have to get a monocle or if you really can't see, um, yeah, pff, nah, you'll find a way, you'll find a way. Anyway, uh, what you need to do is go directly into the left room. I do accidentally jump up here, so ignore that. But all you got to do is go into the left room and the achievement will unlock. So if some achievements are not, or trophies are not unlocking for you, just go into the next room and they'll unlock fan, just fan. So next up, um, what you're going to need to do, third one down, go to downtown, and the one underneath, we're going to go to sewer underscore trans one, and then reload game. So downtown, sewer underscore trans one, reload that game. And this is unbelievable, this is unbelievable. And we need to go to the left and the achievement will unlock here. Like I said, it's unbelievable that this has been found. I stress like hell making the full guide for this. Next up then, uh, go to University and then type in Campus Hub or go to Campus Hub. So that's University and Campus Hub and reload the game. Um, and it's unbelievable. Um, and the achievement will unlock here. So basically, it was all a mistake. Uh, Leo V basically found it by mistake and Found out that it didn't unlock a it unlocked achievements a trophy. So, legend. Next is going to be inner city, and then inner city underscore trans five. So inner city, and then inner city underscore trans five. Like I said, I put the writing on screen as well, just in case. But that is what you're going to choose, and then reload your game once again. And that's going to pop up. And unbelievably, well, uh, this was rare. I don't think it's going to be rare for much longer. In all fairness. Um, next up then, what we're going to be choosing is train station and then tower train station underscore trans one. So train station, tower train station, underscore trans one. Oh, tower train station, underscore trans one. That's what I'm trying to say. Reload that schniz once more. And ta-da! Oh, there's nothing better than an easy rare achievement unlocking. It's bountiful. Anyway, uh, we are sort of almost coming to the end now. So what we're going to do is go to rooftops and then arc to sub. So rooftops and then arc to sub. And then, of course, we're going to reload the game once again. So for this set of rooftops, we just need to go ahead and press the B button on the elevator lift as we begin. So press the B button or circle on the PlayStation here. And that's going to move us all the way up. And... Ta-da! Ta-da! Ah, oh, there it is, right. It, it unlocks eventually. There we go. So Skyline Dark unlocks. Job done. Next up, it's Rooftops again and Arc 3 Sub. So Rooftops, Arc 3 Sub, reload your game. And again, we're just going to need to do a tiny, tiny little bit of movement. So when we begin, we're going to jump up, jump up, go to the right, drop down with down and B button, go to the left, 
And the rooftop cake achievement should unlock there. Oh, skyline cake, sorry. Skyline cake, well, it's close enough. Right, lastly, well, second to lastly, we're going to type in finale and then main elevator. So that's finale and main elevator. And then all we're doing here is just walking to the right and it will unlock again. Unbelievable stuff! Oh, it's oh, Wow, what a start of the weekend. Right, finally, we're going to type in apartments and then apartment. So apartments and apartment. On PlayStation, I think everything might look um, actually as it's supposed to, but on Xbox, the only things that are here are the main objectives. So luckily, you don't get too lost. So you need to press the uh, B button anyway. Uh, that'll pop up our thing. We're going to head to the left and you can see... <laughs> like a little switch on the wall. So press the B button on this switch. Don't worry, you shouldn't fall down or anything like that, so you should still be good. But it does look creepy, doesn't it? Turn directly around, go straight in front of you, and you can see the floppy disk <laughs> on the... Oh, God damn, on what's supposed to be a bed. Turn around, press the B button here to pop it in the computer, and that will come up with this screen. We can press the B button now to back out, and then just turn around. Once that is done and you see a picture of the oith, turn directly around and you can see this little cabinet. So we're going to press the B button again here to open it up. Um, press the B button to go in and then press the Y slash triangle button after you've connected the dots right there. So then we can press the triangle button, jump in, drop down, press the uh, B button slash circle to pick up the key, jump up, unlock the door. And then we can back out once again with the triangle button. Uh, oh, the triangle, triangle slash Y, whatever you're playing on. Next then, we can just go ahead and press the B button to back out. Turn around. Now you can just see like a light, <laughs> like a light siren on the door, just to the right of the computer there. You can click in the left stick or L3 to run. But now this is basically the end. So <laughs> here we go. It's unbelievable, right? So head to the end. We're going to have to turn left through these like little archways things into the boat and that will be that <laughs> so if you haven't managed to play the pedestrian for whatever particular reason apparently like i said earlier now's the time to get yourself a nice easy five minute uh 1000 or 1000 or platinum whether they uh sort you know whether they patch it later on remains to be seen but if you see this video um you know smash it out and i will leave a link in the description for my original video just in case they do patch it so there we go, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped as well. And, well, I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one. <laughs> Big love.